here's the thing. A couple of days later, it's gone into limp mode again. Wasn't running at all, DPF filter complaint. And it then went into a limp mode, which I believe showed reduced power and we're able to drive it again. And it makes me think that potentially that sensor is fucked. Um, it's showing a DPF error again, which I understand is a difference in temperature between those two positions. Now, if that is the case, it would certainly seem to uh, tie into why that was. Now, there was a lot of soot on the inside of those heat shields. And I think that's probably what's burning off here at the moment is all the soot that was on the inside of those heat shields. Um, but probably the next thing is to get a scan tool on and see if there is actually a value read on those two sensors that's showing us some sort of weird and wonderful thing. I do have a spare sensor for that on the replacement DPF that came from over east. So maybe we'll get lucky with that. Happy fun, happy new year. Oh, what a feeling. So, there looks to be quite a bit of tension on that little join there. So, my theory is, I've got a complete set of sensors, one, two, and three. Maybe it's a heat response in that cable and fucks the sensor up. <sighs> Happy days. I'll give that a shot. It's over. That sensor there. Hey YouTube. So, it's the next day after getting stuck on the side of the road with this thing where it threw up the DPF warning again but it threw it up harder and more consistently than it had previously and I suspect that we can be pretty confident mechanically there's not a problem because I've cleaned that bloody thing through still it's spotless so the only reason it would get blocked again after less than 500 kilometers driving is some other fault, some other sensor issue. Now, yesterday after struggling with it, we finally managed to get it started and drove home. We were, we were essentially trying to do a freeway run at speed to try and get it cleaned through if it was a instant blockage or whatever. But as soon as we stopped again, the the the, mesh, the car stopped. The warning came on. But eventually we did get it started again. And I drove through it. And then eventually it turned into a different warning, a more persistent warning. Basically saying the engine power is reduced. Which suggests to me more of a limp mode. It's finally decided in the ECU that one of the sensors is not behaving properly. So it's something I'm going to test now to see if we'll start up and I'll be able to drive it in limp mode.
All right, so we completed that quick trip without any obvious issues. So this is going to be our final update on the Mini DPF, I think. Um, essentially, after that one day of absolute hell, by rerouting the cable from the thermocouple, it hasn't happened again, and we're back to very happy running, um, getting about 6.8, 6.9 litres per 100 kilometres, and everything's just going nicely so I think the electrical issue of the cable being in the uh, 90 degree angle bit of heat stress all that sort of stuff may have been the problem I do have the other sensor in the car but I haven't needed to change it over so realistically speaking at this stage I'm going to call that fix done thanks for watching hope you find it useful